bit earlier than he normally would. The position was completely lost, right? The bishop was coming to e4. That, I think, was beyond salvation, even for Hikaru. <laughs> he was down a 1,000 pawns, but he wants two more games. He wants to bring this lead back up and avoid something crazy happening in the bullet. He believes in his chances. Big, I'm laughing. big, big two games. I'm laughing because Nihal is white, and he became the B3 cowboy first. So he's just saying, come on, come on, Akar. I know you love this opening, but I'm yes. going to get to it. And somewhere, Adiban is smiling at his compatriots play. But I actually think that Black is perfectly fine in this position, just a little bit more cramped. And knight e5 there walked into knight takes e6. So don't put your knight on e5 until you've defended the square. But bishop f6 also runs into knight e4. So we've had a very similar position before, Robert. But this, I think... I agree, is a slightly improved version for Black. Still, I think Nihal is so comfortable in the structure. He is, and he was able to beat Anish Gear in a rapid time control in the CGC. He has shown some good play against Hikaru here in the, this SCC match. And what's Black's plan, right? White put all of these pieces in optimal squares. If you go Rook C8, you drop the A6 pawn. Let's not forget about the Bishop and Queen in line attacking A6. This is a move you see pretty often in these types of positions. It's got multiple ideas, right? You're, you are aiming at h2. <laughs> Obviously, you're not really thinking about checkmate just yet. You could bring the bishop back to d6 and build a battery. It's just sort of a general solidifying move. And here comes Nihal throwing himself at the king side. And if h6, Robert, I'll let you drink your tea, but what's his follow-up? Is it 96 there... double take? That's exactly what I was wondering. The Whoa! rook takes d5 at the end. Tactics Holy galore here. Balls. And Nihal Sarn, he is maybe no longer afraid. He's been playing a little bit timid oh, chess it. throughout. Knight takes, is it f7 or e6? Oh my god, knight f7 might be even better with knight takes e6 to follow. That looks even more destructive. Because you also have a queen h5 check in there as well. So like, oh I feel like black's god. position is falling apart. He takes on e6. It's still good for white. And look at Hikaru. He's shaking his head. Hikaru is feeling the pressure from Nihal right now. I, this is the first time all match where I feel like Nihal has been able to string together consecutive performances. And I, I think that Hikaru is starting to feel a little bit nervous. And I'm stating the obvious, but it's hard to believe, Robert. I think you'll back me up on this. If Nihal wins this game, it's only a two-point match. Like, okay, it looks like Hikaru's pulled away. Queen g4, where's the win? Queen g4 looks great. What's the move for black? There's no move. Queen g4, knight c5, I think, is forced. And then you can sack the exchange. Oh, and you, you should be winning there. Absolutely winning. Just controlling all the uh, diagonals. Rook c7 looks great as well, as you're pointing out. Queen g4, knight c5. Can you play b4? Does he have time for that? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, b4 is very natural. Oh, Apparently, rook bishop a8, a8, maybe? Wait, bishop a8, queen a8, and then b4. Do I have that? Oh, but don't play queen a bishop a8, queen a8, rook c5, because you might run into an intermezzo but, with rook c queen c8 at what? the end of that. Actually, it works for white. Oh my gosh. So is that the prudent option? Does black have any shenanigans that we're not seeing? Let's, let's show it. Let's show that variation with bishop Analysis a8. support, please. Yeah, bishop queen a8. a8, rook takes c5, then rook oh, six is loose. After rook there e4. is a desperado. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, that's <laughs> funny. That's, that's actually like a funny line. Probably best for black, but even that is still a minimum of pawn down with a weak king. And you can't take back with the bishop. You have to accept further weakening of your pawn. Nihal has to convert this and get him a broken record. <laughs> I've said that phrase so many times today, but this endgame, I think, is eminently convertible. Let's see if Hikaru even finds her takes c3. That's not obvious either. No, because back bishop, to the takes, board. bishop A has been played, and Hikaru... He resigned last game. I could see him resign just because he's so fed up with the position. But there's still four minutes and change in this time control F3. here. Whoa. Just queen f3. Connect your queen and bishop. White is up two healthy pawns with a safe king. This game is over. And look at Hikaru, right? He's like wiping the sweat off his forehead. And there's very few players in the world who can make Hikaru Nakamura sweat. Nihal Sarn is one of them. I haven't used the T word all day, but H5 is the first tilt move that I've seen from Hikaru. It's a frustration move. It's not as serious a defensive attempt as Queen takes A8. And again, I don't really see Nihal's hesitation. Queen F3, maybe he's worried about the knight jumping into D3. And I think that actually is Hikaru's idea. Queen F3, Knight D3. But I feel like White's spoiled for choice there. Even Bishop D5, Robert, after Knight D3 with Queen F5 to follow is, again, basic Brian. Bishop d5, I mean, like you're saying, now, it's completely winning right now. It just ends. Bishop d5 is elementary, my dear Watson. And the queen f5 picks up the rook with checkmate to follow. And look at Hikaru. Easy clap. He, he is really upset right now. And so if you're Nihal, I think 
you're going to get another three minute game and you're happy about that even if you get the black pieces in that one and he's crossing without a waiting white's move yeah i mean bishop e6 bishop f7 is game d hall is absolutely happy about getting a chance to make this a one point match unreal I truly thought Hikaru was going to pull away after he just secured a four-point lead. But I think Nihal also has to remain calm. I'm not too worried about him remaining calm. I'm worried about myself. I'm amped right now after...